welcome back everyone in today's video we will continue our sketch series and we will start the building of our game that is the pac-man game so as you may recall this is this was our sprite and this is our stage area quick a quick overview and this is our scripts area and these are our programs and as you may know if you played pac-man so in pac-man we do not have a cat right we have a pack we have the pac-man so we don't need a cat here so let's delete it how to delete it go to this sprites tab sil go to the cat bar and right click on it and select the delete option left click on the delete option now you see you have no sprite so you need a sprite now so let's see do we have anything similar to pac-man over in our libraries so we do not have it here so what to do we need to create our own let's go and create our own so here you have various options to create this pac-man so let's go to the circles tab and select now i need to update filled in circle i am selecting filled in and let's say i'm selecting the color to be yellow because yellow is bright and i like it and just click and drag the size that you want and the shape so i think that's a perfect circle yes okay we have our circle here so now another thing that we need to do is draw a rectangular block of different colors say red so this will not make much sense now but will be later very useful as an obstacle detector in our means uh, coding of this game so yes we're done with this so now you may recall that in the pac-man game uh, the pac-man continuously opens and closes his mouth so here we have only a closed mouth pac so we need another costume that has the open mouth so that fluctuating between those two will create the effect of closing and uh, in this uh, opening so let's duplicate this so now you are here in the second costume and let's cut out the mouth parts for that i am using a line let's color it white to cut out the part okay i think this is perfect and this is perfect too so let me just increase this width with, you can increase the width here and the tab bar so that you can increase the width of your line but i think this is good now we just need the eraser go to the eraser and select the eraser over here and select the width as per you need select medium width because you need to means a uh, carve out your means a uh, carve out your mouth part so that it's very clear be very careful i know it is not going to be perfect but uh let's try for the best okay okay i know it's becoming some uh, not a perfect line okay okay i think i have done yes that's good okay let's now increase the this uh series of size and cut the rest of the part out okay now it's natural yeah maybe there's some maybe there's some might be imperfections but that's nature so now we have our two costumes let's rename the costumes to be p a c m a n one for closed mouth and p a c m a n two for open mouth we since we have both the pac-man and now we need them to continuously open and close so let's select the sprite and go to the scripts area which is the which gives the instructions to it so let's see what do we have we can go to the looks since we're concerned with the looks about this how does it look so let's see what do we have here under the command section no no yes next costume can be helpful next costume will take us to next costume let's see what this does let's click and drag and drop in here in the scripts area okay let's if you click on this bar then also it will execute the command so let's see yes it's going to the next costume but we want it to be automatic so let's see if we have such commands so when flag is clicked means when we means to give the instruction to run the program then it should forever change so let's we need a loop action so this will be found in the control because we're trying to control so we have a loop here that is forever loop so which means it will repeat the action forever so whatever action you place in between this it the program will repeat the action let's see if uh, we if it produces what our desired output is yes it produces but you might not be able to observe it because it's very fast so let's go ahead and see if we can add some delay yes we have this function wait which is the delay okay let's see what happens now and it's happening but it's too slow and i want it to be a little bit faster let's change the seconds here over here you can change it to anything in right i'll 
think it's 0.3 seconds will be very good okay yes now we have our sprite with opening and closing mouth automatically so that's all for today's video and keep watching for the next uh, next instructions soon.